Hello lovely learners, welcome to Learn English Quick with One Print. So from the title, you know what we are going to learn today. You know, motivation is the most important thing in our life. And motivation uh, comes in many forms. Like we get motivated seeing the, someone's video. We get motivated uh, listening to someone's speech. And one of the motivation, one of the form of motivation, I would say, is the personal motivation. It is a key to maintain all the aspects of life. Like if we are not motivated, we are most likely to squander our time and neglect our personal and professional goals. Even the most determined people can lose stream sometimes. So watch the video till the end for some sure fire tips for getting back on track while learning. In learning process, we have to keep ourselves motivated. So what are we waiting for? Let's get into it. We were talking about the personal motivation. It is the key aspect. I, as I told you earlier, it not only helps us in the personal development, but it also helps us in the professional development. So, you know, there are two methods to keep ourselves motivated. So what are those methods? We will discuss it one by one. The first method is keeping spirits high and how can we keep our spirits high is your first question right well we are coming straight into it okay so we have 12 points to consider in this video and as i told you we will consider six points under method one and the rest of the six points under method two so the first one keeping spirits high the first point is in this is remind yourself of your goals usually before devoting time to any specific endeavor we tend to make short term and some long term goals and remember you have to keep your goals realistic it's just not like you think in your mind that i have this short term goal and i have that long term goal and you are nowhere or you just have noted it down and i'll do this i'll do that but there is no consistency you are not able to do it you are not able to achieve it so you have to keep your goals realistic otherwise you will be disheartened if you don't achieve them and that doesn't mean you can't push and challenge yourself and i believe if you don't challenge yourself it is not a goal really not a goal if you start to lose sight of your goal then you may May be less motivated than if you were checking to see how much you are getting closer to the goal so keep a track of your goals and checking your progress can actually help you keep motivated day in and day out so second point is make weekly checkpoints to track your goal yeah everyone needs to see how they are keeping up with their goals like if they want to stay motivated obviously so if you see that you are on the track and you are excelling and you have achieved their first goal so it will keep you motivated and you will be happy that you are getting there and if you see that you are lagging on your goals it may be the kickstart you need to help get back on the track so make weekly checkpoints you can use a planner a weekly planner or we can say you can use a day planner also but whatever you choose you have to be consistent with it and only then you can achieve your goals be at the short term be at the long term so the third point is so the third point is make sure that you reward yourself each time you achieve your weekly goal you uh, this could be as simple as a, um, a bowl of ice cream after a long hard week of working out or as rewarding as a trip to a location, a destination that you always wanted for all your hard work. So the basic point is whatever rewards will keep you going are the ones you should be giving yourself. Okay, the first point is giving yourself breaks. You know, sometimes even the most determined people get overwhelmed. You may be burning yourself out 
and a much needed break might be just what you want or just what you need okay for example if it is a fitness goal maybe take a two or three days rest instead of your one or two day rest like if it is a school don't try to do your work in one sitting but stretch it over the course of the day or week if possible fifth point is don't be too hard on yourself everyone falls short sometime if you fail to if you fail to meet your goals for the week take it as a lesson try to complete your next target before time so that you can uh, use the saved time to complete the pending work this way you stay right on schedule even if you have taken a hit it's not always about how hard you hit but how well you can take a hard hit and keep moving on don't dwell on failure but accept it as a human occurrence and continue working towards your goal the last point is watch or read motivational stories or speeches everyone deserves a great pep talk every once in a while stay elevated by watching youtube videos of inspirational moments so you can suddenly feel a sense a new sense of motivation to keep striving and here are a few example of easily found inspirational media So we just completed the first method of keeping spirits high and how we can keep our spirits high so we can achieve our short term or the long term goals. Now moving on to the second method that is beating procrastination. And under this method we have six things that we need to consider to beat the procrastination. So let's start. First point is eliminate your distractions. Identify anything that's causing you to procrastinate. Then get rid of it. Sell it or put it in a locker, I would say. Move away from it or just throw it away. You can't become motivated. if you are squandering all of your time if you are spending too much time aimlessly browsing the internet install a productivity extension in your browser these free extensions allow you to block certain sites and or set time limits for recreational browsing so you can just do it so the second point is raise the stakes for yourself and how you can do it hold yourself accountable in your own eyes and the eyes of others for the thing that you have done you can set personal penalties for yourself if you don't act throughout some delicious cookies that you've been saving or make a donation to charity if you can tell your family and friends the things you plan on doing if you don't do these things they'll know and somewhere you will be embarrassed now you have a great reason to get started write yourself the note to keep you motivated or set a reminder on your phone that reminds you every 20 minutes of a task you need to accomplish this might get annoying enough i guess to make you actually do it well the third point some may agree with this some may not agree with this because i think it's a personal choice totally the third point is about taking some caffeine and only you know where to draw lines in terms of dosage one person's typical morning brew might make another's jittery and unfocused all day a low to moderate dose can make you feel alert oriented and focused here's a tip to this point if you have already got a caffeine addiction you need caffeine just to function normally you might be out of luck and stay away from more powerful stimulants unless a doctor has prescribed them for you they can be extremely habit forming if used carelessly so these two points were tip please do not get addicted to caffeine or do not add some stimulants that keep you activated this is just useless you have to keep 
yourself activated your brain activated naturally and not so just through some of these things like they'll only harm you at the end so just stay away from them okay so fourth point is move your body go for a short run do some jumping jacks or shadow box even light physical exercise can affect our moods making us feel more confident active and dynamic and you know exercise has even been shown to thwart depression and low self image which are both hurdles to personal motivation efforts so regularly do exercises you can also do the yoga you can listen to your favorite music or whatever thing that literally affects your moods and you feel active and dynamic and motivated to do that task fifth point is break your task into manageable pieces like if you are having some serious motivational problems breaking one large task into many 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 small tasks can make it much easier approach psychologically because we get a feeling of accomplishment from completing each step of the task and this trick can increase motivation substantially sometimes all that's needed to gain the momentum to tackle the whole project is to complete the first step so the last point under second method is surprise yourself you know even tremendously motivated people can be driven to lethargy and inaction if they have to perform tedious repetitive tasks for months or weeks on end break up the monotony with spontaneous and out of the ordinary activities try to create a uh, an internal sense of unpredictability even you don't know what exactly are you going to do tomorrow this can ease the psychological tedium of work that is same day after day here are a few ideas you might want to experiment with spend a lunch break at a scenic place outdoors have an soccer game with friends or coworkers surprise your workplace with some home cooking take a friend or significant other out for a night on the town even if there's no special occasion and change your personal style cultivate a drastically different look then wait for the reactions from your friends or coworkers or family so this was all about how you can keep yourself motivated while learning I hope you found this helpful and if you are new to the channel please subscribe to the channel for some amazing content till the next video take good care of yourself bye bye